but we have a bike. While we're talking about new things, we also got our bed. Ta-da! Isn't it so pretty? So we got it from the warehouse furniture clearance, getting our lounge on Monday, and it should be the same sort of vibe, like our lounge is this sort of color as well. We need to get another bedside table, so we're thinking of getting the same one there. And then I've just got the palm and the mirror there, so our room's coming along really well. And then once we get our lounge, we're pretty much done. Even though it's winter, we both had a very summery morning. I went for a run this morning, and I did stair sprints, but I'm gonna get into that later and explain why I did that. Like I said, I've got a lot to tell you, but right now I'm going to make some breakfast. As per usual, I'm craving a smoothie. Ever since I've moved into this apartment, all I've wanted is smoothies. So I think I'm just gonna do a green banana smoothie. So my Tropica Lean Protein. Um, I might actually use both greens today. I'm gonna use the Ultra Cleanse and the Alkaline Greens. As you guys know, the Alkaline Greens is my favorite because it tastes better in my opinion. It has like a pineapple-y flavor, but I like the Ultra Cleanse because it's really good at detoxifying the body. So I'm gonna use both. And then I'm just gonna use some iced chia seeds and banana. Oh my gosh, I just drink smoothies so fast. Like in the time that it took me to put this tripod up, I pretty much finished this huge smoothie. Well, I may as well just finish the whole thing now. <laughs> okay. I thought before I get into this video and do my usual like day in the life kind of thing, I just want to sit down with you guys and be completely honest and tell you what's going on. I was really struggling the past three months. As you guys know, it was the lead up to my ebook and I was just pushing myself to a limit that I've never pushed myself before. I was putting so much pressure on myself to get things done in a certain time frame and get things done to a certain quality and ultimately I ended up burning out completely. I was so tired and I was so stressed and it took the hugest toll on my body. So finally now that my ebook has been released, I feel so much better and I'm sleeping and everything, but my body hasn't caught up with my mind, if that makes sense. Like in my mind, I'm so chill and so happy, but it's like my body is still in that fight or flight mode. Because I was so stressed, my body stopped getting its period. So I haven't had my period in three months. If you're new to my channel, one thing you should know is I have really unbalanced hormones. I used to be on the pill like seven years ago. And when I went off the pill, I lost my period for four months. Then I went to a naturopath and change my diet, became healthy, whatever, and I got my period back. So when I either get really stressed or my hormones are out of whack, I lose my period. It's just like what happens to me, unfortunately. And when that happens, your body is so stressed that it's like your body telling itself you can't have a baby because you're just, yeah, too stressed out. So I ended up going to the naturopath and I just wanted to share some things with you that he said to me and what I'm doing now to get my period back and just find balance in my life again. I went to my naturopath and he wasn't really surprised. He could see in our previous appointments I was super stressed, so he sort of saw it coming. The good thing is my diet and everything is still great and my working out regime is still great. I'm eating a paleo-based diet, high in healthy fats, so that is going to help balance my hormones. It's literally just my cortisol levels and my stress hormones are obviously out of whack. So before he makes a full-on game plan, he's making me do that big hormonal test again. If you watch my hormonal acne video or if you followed my journey from the start you'll know I did a saliva test and a blood test years ago just to find out where I was and I had really high testosterone levels I found out I had PCOS and just everything was out of whack so that gave me and my naturopath sort of a starting point to change my life and get my body 
weight back in balance, which we did, but now I've sort of messed it up again, so we're backtracking. But that is why I went for a run this morning, because he really wants me to try to de-stress my body and just give my body the signals that it's okay to relax, sleep in, and chill out. So Kurt and I actually had a sleep in this morning. We slept until 9 o'clock, which is a huge, huge sleep in for us. As you guys know, leading up to my ebook, I was getting up at like 20 past 5. I hadn't really been doing that lately. But before I forget, I know a lot of you guys will ask. My naturopath is Hayden Keys. He's at Miranda. I'll put all his description stuff below. So yeah, that's just me being honest with you guys and keeping you in the loop with my hormones. Because as much as I live a healthy lifestyle and I want to give you guys advice, I want to be real with you. And if I'm struggling with something and if I'm not getting my period and my body's really stressed out, I don't want to pretend that I'm perfect and pretend that everything I do is right. Because obviously something is out of whack right now. Something is not in sync. So I'll keep you guys in the loop and take you along this journey with me and hopefully we can get my body working optimally again. But as for now, I'm still eating the same. I'm eating higher fats and I'm also integrating some more starchy carbs into my diet because my naturopath said that maybe my body is in such a fight or flight mode, I actually need some more carbs. And as for my workouts, I'm pretty much just doing my sweat it to shred it ebook like I'm doing Tony Powers, Sweaty Shredders. If you guys have bought my ebook, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I'm integrating a lot of activity days and challenge days. So like this morning, that's an activity day I went into stair sprints this is all in my ebook by the way and then I also joined a new gym which has a hot yoga room so I did hot yoga which was amazing I'm really taking the steps to like de-stress my body and calm it down Kurt is having a bacon and egg wrap I'm having a salad and we actually got these salads because we went to Melbourne the other day and we thought we were gonna have to like meal prep and bring our meals with us but we actually forgot to bring them so now I have it in the fridge so it's a brand called Solara and it's called the forbidden rice rainbow medley. This one is a plant-based salad and I'm just going to add some chicken thigh to it because we had chicken thigh for dinner last night. I am a paleo-based eater but like I said my naturopath wants me to add a little bit more starchy carbs into my diet and just see if that changes anything. So this is my finished product. I just added two chicken thighs into that. Some tahini, lime, coriander. Soon we won't be walking to get coffee. I'll be riding my bicycle <laughs> and you can be skateboarding. You skating. can you can sketch me. Okay. I don't know what that means but it I'll means sketch. Means like I'll hold on. Well, Oh, freaking morning! I just, I just had to call you back. Yeah, we're gonna go get a coffee, I think. Oh, yeah. can I join? Totally. We wanna find somewhere that we can sit in the sun because it's a bit chilly. Well, let's all go to coffee. Let's get coffee. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yum. Looks yum, though. This is why I purposely ate before him because I love this place. I wanna eat from this place. But I was saying. We don't saying, have any food at home, so. We have a lot. That's because Sarah doesn't live there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stocked that house full, and now our house is full of bananas. Mum and I were literally talking about my body. Some days I look really skinny, yeah. and then I will literally wake up the next morning and be so bloated. Yeah. And People say to me, oh my gosh, your abs look so different in every single photo. Yeah, they do. Every single morning I wake up and I look different, depending on what I ate the day before. You're watching this, this is a message to you guys to not be so hard on yourself. Know that your body does fluctuate, and that's normal. Everyone's body fluctuates. Whether you're in the fitness industry or you're not, I don't look shredded all year round. So she's actually really fat in real life. Large and in charge, I like to say. Sarah's no. weak. She's weak, <laughs> I tell ya. Kurt, don't expose she, me. She needs affection. This is what she did. Bag was sitting here. No, and she moved it to the other side because she's like, I feel like we're too far apart. Okay, okay. So I moved in a little bit closer. I'm moving in closer to her. So she so she feels neat, like loved. And the next minute, go on, do what you did. Grab my hand. Put it on her leg, moved her hand away, <laughs> went back to the coffee. Needy no, as. No, so no, needy. No. Everyone who knows me well, they think I have a heart of stone. You do. No, that's what I'm saying. I need to maintain that. You're gonna you're gonna expose me for the softy I truly am. Right up here. Where? <laughs> oh no, you look good, honey. <laughs> Get it, Tiles. Get it. How romantic. Ow. It's gorgeous. I reckon we take it outside and you actually go for a seat. Yeah, yeah well, do I, it. Need, I need the thing a bit higher. The seat? Yeah. Alright, jump off. I know how to ride a bike, you silly. No, you don't, don't change it yet. Put it back one now. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not getting off. Ever. See ya. Oh, this is gonna end bad. <laughs> it's such a princess. <laughs> I see you rolling. She's like a little kid. <laughs> yeah, come on the back. <laughs> Wait, I need, to, I need to get started. I have arrived. Kurt, you wanna have a go? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> oh, we got some speed now, Mayan. I think I look so glamorous riding a pink bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like Christmas Day when you get new yeah. toys. <laughs> yeah, every day that.
that's you and me All day, that's us, boo Came through with that new thing See, I don't know why I trust you Crazy now, I'm just too on Maybe now I'm just too gone Maybe now I'm just looking for that same vibe that you on Cause I'm out here with my boys Going crazy in this bitch Overseas, getting pissed <laughs> Says he's put a hand in dog poo <laughs> Must have been on your board <laughs> what are you trying to eat dog food for? <laughs> Yuck, that's so gross. Yes, I'm so happy right now. Yeah, it's on my board. <laughs> Put my keep away. There's, a, there's one over there, sir. <laughs> I'm not happy. Yet. <laughs> I nearly did that one, which is the shit. <laughs> Sarah's had like a whole bowl of nuts. This stupid cupboard. I love it so much. <laughs> this snack cupboard. A fruit and nut mix. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm just prepping my dinner and of course the first ingredient is pumpkin. Pretty much my favorite vegetable of all time. So this whole recipe is like a lower carb, low glycemic soup, which is paleo. So it's gluten free, dairy free, grain free, all that good stuff. I'm just heating it up right now, but I'll probably cook the pumpkin around 180 degrees Celsius on a fan forced oven. And I just like doing it in the oven right now because I feel like it has like a nice caramelly flavor. Pre-cook it and then half of it we're going to blend in the Nutribullet and the other half you just keep in chunks because I want it like a chunky soup. I just want to use up what is in our fridge because we're going to Bali in a couple of days anyway so it's not really worth us buying more vegetables. Chopping it up into little squares like that. Literally I make it up as I go along. Story of my life. Yeah it really is. So now I'm just going to use some Loving Earth coconut oil and massage that into the pumpkin and then I usually add salt and pepper afterwards and don't worry I wash my hands like 20 times with soap to get the dog poop off my hands. Put the pumpkin in first. I just checked the pumpkin and it's pretty much cooked. I'm going to get it out and put in two zucchinis, red chili, green beans, Chinese broccoli. Kurt, did you get bok choy from the shops? Yep. Oh, I need bok choy as well. I'll add the bok choy later. I'm going to add the bok choy later. And we couldn't get any chicken stocks. We have no stock and we couldn't get brown mondies. We're doing a salmon soup instead. I need to get little mittens. The rest of the vegetables in there and they won't need that long because like I said we're gonna put it in like a soup pot soon. Just make sure that you've got coconut oil sort of over everything. I'm cooking our two salmon fillets on the pan. I've chopped up all of the bok choy. Bok choy? Bok choy. Bok choy. And then I've put half of it in the Nutribullet which we're gonna blend up. But I'm just gonna get half of it out now for like the soup. I like this soup because number one it's super healthy but it's really quick like I know this might like seem like a lot of effort but it's seriously not. I have a bad feeling that I added too much chili though like that one chili was really really hot when I tasted the pumpkin. Look at me go! So many elements I feel like that. That is when you're domesticating when you have multiple elements happening in the kitchen. Going back in a whole lemon. Oh we don't have apple cider vinegar either. Oh my gosh we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel with this soup. Right now this is going to taste like nothing because it's just vegetables basically. Salt. A lot of salt because not only do I like things salty, we don't have any stock happening. Pepper. I love pepper. Paprika. Do we put paprika in it? Yep. Yum. The goodness me box. Souk spice. Like cumin, coriander, I don't know, a bunch of fun stuff. I'm also going to add some mixed herbs. And that's the basis of our soup. Do you know what would be nice in this rosemary? I might just add more mixed herbs. Whenever I cook with a ladle, I feel like a witch. Yeah, so literally now I'm just playing like taste tester and mixing it up a bit. Basically, I'm just gonna add more Himalayan salt because I'm addicted to salt. If you have a chicken stock, you don't have to add as much salt because that sort of adds to the salty flavor. But we don't got that, so. Sunday or Monday, I make Kurt a batch of rice and this is just like Mexican rice. So I'm gonna put that at the bottom of his from my witch cauldron. <laughs> And make sure you get lots of liquid. Have lots of liquid. Why are you so weird? Because I'm a witch. No, I'm the witch. You're the warlock. Oh. There you go. Thank you. You're going to like put some little fancy bit of... There we go. Done. Fancy. <laughs> I ready, Kurt? Your fave. Oh, yes. That's what it needed to zhuzh it up. Black sesame seeds. Really good at balancing the hormones. Bye! Have fun. See ya. She's Enjoy. going out with her friends, but we are grandma and grandpa. We stay at home and eat our soup. Yeah, we do. <laughs> See you, Tiles. Have fun being young and youthful. We're just going to be here eating, eating our soup. Eating our soup. Then we should All sad of life. No, when are we not sad?
I mentioned this in my last vlog, but feel free to follow my Spotify. I have three playlists that you can choose from. I've got Says He Sounds Recover, Says He Sounds Sweaty, Says He Sounds Toning. It's like 10.30 and we are in our little office making a mess. I should probably shut off this vlog now and go to bed. I should not be staring at a screen. I'm a bad sleeper anyway. I shouldn't be looking at the blue light. I need to put my flux on. If any of you guys are sensitive to screens and you don't have flux on your Mac, I'm guessing it's just a Mac thing, definitely get flux because it puts like the blue light off your screen. Anyway, I need to put night shift mode on now that I think of that. It's on. I feel like I didn't really do much except ride my bike and go for a skate. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really supports my channel and I don't know what I'm saying because I'm really tired. Um, what do I say? Make sure you subscribe because you upload a new video every three days. That one. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>